I'm Tyler Bronski. I'm with Keith Folk, formerly of the Boston Red Sox, here at the MLB Legends Games versus the Bridgeport Bluefish Legends Games. Now, Keith, got to ask you about the 04 year, really special year for you guys. Coming into this year in April, you guys had a really talented roster, did well in April, but then um, some injuries uh, kind of hindered you guys midseason. Until that game in July against the Yankees, when Bill Mueller hit the three-run home run, and yeah. that was a really special game against the Yankees, of course. Um, do you think that was maybe a turning point for you guys and uh, for your season a little bit? Oh uh, well, I'm not sure if it's a turning point. Uh, it definitely didn't hurt our uh, you know camaraderie on the team. Uh, we had a good bunch of guys, and um, you know even when we started uh, to not play well, we, you know we knew we had an experienced team. You know I was you know 31, 32 at the time, and you know I was one of the youngest guys in the yeah. team. So uh, the experience side, uh, ex experience part of it was was on our side. But uh, you know, we knew not to panic. You know, you just got to get to the, you just got to get to the playoffs. And you know, as we know now, you never know what'll happen. Sure. Now that season didn't come without some surprises because, like, only a week later, Theo made some big moves, trading Nomar to Chicago, and then you guys brought in like guys like Orlando Cabrera, um, you know, Dave Roberts, some big name guys. Do you remember the initial reaction in the clubhouse when you guys heard the news that maybe Nomar was uh, leaving the team? Well, yeah, uh, definitely when I got to the, the clubhouse that day, you know, hearing Nomar was gone was definitely a shock. Um, but, you know, that that's just the nature of baseball. You know things like that are going to happen. Uh, and, you know, you, you, you deal with it, you say goodbyes, and, you know, we'll see you down the road. But, uh, you know, especially when we brought in uh, OC, you know, Cabrera, uh, you know, he turned out to be a pretty big spark plug for yeah. the team. Uh, obviously, comes in, plays you know a phenomenal defense, and uh, but his energy, um, you know, it, it just there's a lot of guys on the team that, that feed off of that energy. <laughs> so it's one of those things where you know he he did he did you know a good job of keeping the, the team laughing him and Millar, and you know it was uh, you know it's just how everything fell together. Sure. Now that really paved the way for you guys well in the playoffs. Um, get to facing the Angels in the first round, you guys sweep them, and then of course the famous series against the Yankees, being down 3-0, the four game comeback, you pitched in five of seven of those games in that series. Um, can you speak on maybe moments that specifically stand out to you from that series and just how um, crazy that was really? What the initial feeling, you know, each game you guys started off being down 3-0 and then each game you're climbing back up. Yeah, I mean obviously putting yourself in the 3-0 hole is not the way you want to, you know, you want to go through a series, but um, it's funny, I don't really remember a whole lot about the uh, games one through three, but, uh, you know, after we lost in game three before game four, you know, you see, you know, everybody's seen the, the shows where Millar's out there hollering and doing his thing, but, you know, we kind of got together as a team and, you know, you just kind of talk amongst yourselves. It's like, hey, two things are going to happen. Both of them are, are, are positives. You know, we win, we play tomorrow. We lose, you know, you pack your shit, you go home for the winter and, you know, be with your family and relax. So we, you just kind of take the pressure off of yourself. And, you know, it really was. We just decided to go out there and play one pitch at a time, one game at a time. And, you know, after we won game four, you know, it's like, oh, that's cool. All right. Yeah. Well, hey, you know, uh, just keep that same mentality. We're going to do it again tomorrow. Absolutely. And then, you know, after game five, it was like, yeah, you know, hey, uh, you know, let's let's do it one more time. Yeah. And especially after game six and, you know, came out for game seven, uh, you know, definitely feel like we put the pressure all back on them. And, um, you know, a good thing for us is, you know, we started, uh, you know, once we started rolling, you know, we got all the breaks we needed and uh, we got the big hits when needed. You know, we got the great pitching and and uh, didn't give up many big innings after, you know, after game three. And, uh, you know, so we just went out there, did our things, had fun and, you know, just rolled on. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, having that much momentum going to the World Series didn't seem like, Cardinals really had a chance to stop you guys. You obviously swept them, and you were on the mound for the last pitch against uh, Edgar Renteria making the out. Uh, obviously, that clip is just going to go down the history, Red Sox history forever. That's special for you to be able, you know, you're the guy you're always going to be. They can't take that away from you, really. And uh, Oh, never take it away yeah. from me, <laughs> no doubt. But, yeah, obviously, uh, you know, after getting by the, uh, you know, the American League Series and going into the World Series, it, it – it just went by so fast, you know, and uh, we just kept that same, you know, mindset came, you know, that that go out there and have fun type philosophy. And, you know, those four games against St. Louis went, you know, pretty quickly, yeah. you know, without a whole lot of drama. And, you know, obviously, you know, having the uh, uh, the honor of being on the mound and, and after what we had pulled off, you know, against the Yankees and, and being able to win a World Series after 86, you know, it's, uh, you know, it was a very special thing. And, you know, every time I see the clip, it still makes me smile. Oh, yeah, definitely. Final question for you, like we mentioned earlier, you're here in Bridgeport for the game. Uh, you actually played in this league, though, with Newark back in 2009 a little bit. Yeah. Same league the Bluefish are in. Do you remember 
anything like what do you remember most from your time with Newark and is it kind of cool now uh, the league's you know grown since you've been here in 2009 kind of just seeing the development of this league uh, to what it is now yeah you know and um you know, when I came out in 09, it was one of my last ditch efforts where, you know, I was trying to see if I really wanted to keep playing and, you know, the answer really became no, I didn't. But um, I was really surprised about uh, the, the talent that was in this league, uh, you know, some really nice ballparks. Uh, so actually, I had a really good time in this league. But, uh, you know, every year they sign, you know, a handful of guys to go back into to pro or into affiliated ball. So, you know, I respect this league and, you know, there's a lot of talent. And I appreciate the fact that they give guys the, the, the ability to play outside of organized baseball. So it's, uh, you know, hats off to, to Bridgeport and uh, hats off to the league for, you know, keeping it rolling. Awesome. Keith, thanks so much and good luck today. All right. Thanks, sir. Thanks.